This is not your grandma's tuna salad. We're making it lighter without the mayo and it's so much better. I like to start my tuna salad by preparing the dressing first and then adding all the ingredients on top of it. We're gonna start with a third of a cup of Greek yogurt. And I like to use Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise because it's still creamy, it's got probiotics, and it doesn't weigh you down the way mayonnaise would weigh you down. So I like to start out there and it just makes this tuna salad a little bit healthier. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice. And it's a good idea to roll the lemon first before you cut it to release all the juices. That was one juicy lemon, so half a lemon is about two tablespoons and we're perfect. If you do like it more lemony, feel free to add the rest of the lemon. Next, we're gonna add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and I usually just eyeball this. We'll season it with some salt and pepper, and I'll usually season as well at the end after I do a little tasting. And finally, just about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of fresh parsley. You can also use fresh dill if you wanted to, or other herbs that work really well are tarragon, for example, or basil, or even cilantro. The fresh herbs just add such a wonderful flavor that makes it um, go from like a bland tuna salad to something that's more vibrant and more fresh. We'll put about a tablespoon of parsley in there. And I like to save the rest just to use at the end, just for a little bit of garnish. And now it's time to whisk it all together. Look how creamy that looks and no mayo whatsoever. Now it's time for the good part. We're gonna go ahead and add two cans of tuna to the recipe. I like to use wild caught albacore tuna whenever possible and opt for tuna in water instead of tuna in oil. It's just gonna be healthier and a lot lighter and you'll just get more of the chunks of tuna that way. And I like to just drain out any extra liquid that's in there, all that extra water. Let's transfer that canned tuna now on top of the dressing and it does help to use a fork just to bake up some of the big chunks of tuna. And we really wanna avoid the mushy, old-fashioned tuna here, so the best way to avoid that is to add some texture with fresh vegetables. We're gonna start with two to three stalks of celery. You can remove these ends right here. I like to use these for making vegetable stock. And then slice the celery in half or in fourths before chopping it. And this is looking like a lot of celery, so I'm gonna go ahead and store some of it for later because we just want about a fourth of a cup or a third of a cup of celery. Otherwise, it really could overpower this uh, tuna salad. Does anybody else have like a hard time measuring things like when it's whole versus when it's chopped? I always think I need more than I actually need. But this right here is gonna come in handy next time I want tuna salad. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add all the celery on top of the tuna. The next vegetable we're adding is red onions. I usually just use a little bit of onion here and there, so I always have some stored in my fridge. So let's go ahead and cut about a couple tablespoons of red onions. And when it comes to adding veggies to this tuna salad, I like chopping everything pretty finely so it adds texture, but it doesn't dominate the, the flavor or the look of the tuna salad. If you wanted a more powerful onion taste, go ahead and use some white onions in here. And if you wanted something a little bit more mellow, you can use green onions or shallots. And once you start crying, you know you've minced it enough. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and store the rest of this onion for a later time. And we'll add all of the onions on top of our tuna salad. And now we're just gonna mix everything together and the tuna salad is ready. At this point, I like to do a little taste test just to make sure that um, the seasoning is okay. We've got enough salt and pepper in there. And sometimes I'll even add a little bit of lemon juice too because I do like my tuna salad to be just a little bit extra lemony. Mm, I think a little bit extra salt and pepper because why, why not? We'll give it one more mix. Just gonna add some of that parsley that we chopped up earlier just to finish off the dish. And there you have it. We've got a more modern, beautiful, healthy tuna salad that is perfect for dipping, for sandwiches, for crackers, for salads, for whatever you're looking for. And now what I like to make with it is a nice tuna salad sandwich. So let's go ahead and make one. So to make the sandwich, I like to use my favorite bread from Dave's Killer Bread. And this is their white done right, which is great for sandwich making. We'll start out with a couple pieces of lettuce. And then we'll add a couple really large scoops of the tuna salad right on top of the lettuce. And this will make between two and four servings depending on how much tuna you want in your sandwich. All right, time to cut it in half and enjoy this tuna salad sandwich. I'm so excited to dig in. This is one of my favorite salads to make and I make this tuna salad at least a couple times a month to enjoy as a salad, as a sandwich, or even as a dip sometimes. So let's give it a taste. So good. The tuna salad is creamy from the Greek yogurt that we use. It has wonderful flavor from the Dijon mustard and the lemon juice, and it has great texture from the celery and the onions that we use. 
This is one tuna salad sandwich that is not gonna disappoint. I hope you guys try it and love it. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with friends and family, and I'll see you next time.